We are doing the enzyme amylase action on starch. In the experiment, we will observe the action of the enzyme amylase on starch. Amylase changes starch into a simpler form, the sugar maltose, which is soluble in water. To get our starch solution, we added one gram of cornstarch and we put it in a, a beaker of 100 milliliters of distilled water. We stirred it frequently and heated it until it boiled. Now you must fill your 250 milliliter beaker about three-fourths of the way full with water and place it on the hot plate. We have prepared three tubes of saliva marked A, B, and C. In tube A, we are adding two milliliters of vinegar. In tubes B and C, we are adding two milliliters of distilled water. Thump, to, thump the tubes to me. Place tube B into the boiling water bath for five minutes. After the five minutes, remove from the bath and place back into the test tube rack. Good. Add five milliliters of starch solution to each tube and thump it to mix. Allow the tubes to sit for 10 minutes, occasionally thumping the tubes to mix. Add five milliliters of Benedict solution to each tube and thump to mix. Place the tubes in a hot water bath. The reaction takes several minutes to begin. Test tube A containing starch and saliva treated with vinegar had a negative reaction because the pH level denatured the enzyme and could not process the starch. Test tube B containing starch, saliva, and water treated in a boiling water bath had a weak positive reaction because the temperature slightly changed the enzyme and is not as effective as it would have been in normal temperatures like tube 6. Okay, in this experiment we saw how enzymes um, worked in normal conditions, but we would like to see how enzymes would react in space with more complex conditions.